Hi, I'm Mindy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have my September book haul in which I haul 26 more new books, which I think is exactly how many I got in August. Uh, this is not a pace that I can keep up realistically, so something's gotta change, but I'm really happy with the books that I picked up in September. It was my birthday month, so I got some birthday books from my husband. I also had way too much fun on Whatnot doing book auctions on the Vintage Vikings uh, Whatnot channel. He also has a YouTube channel. I'll have that link down below. He just got to a thousand subscribers. Congratulations. And I picked up some more books on Pango Books because I had some credit from selling my books. So that's how I ended up with 26. <laughs> I'm going to start with my Whatnot Books. It's the biggest stack. <laughs> oh, those auctions are fun. Okay, let me just grab, grab a stack of them here. Okay. I have a collection, um, anthology of short stories. Stories of Terror and Madness from the Borderlands, edited by Elizabeth E. and Thomas F. Monteleone. It has stories from Bentley Little, Whitley Stryber, and a novella from Stephen King, Tom Picciarelli, John Ferris. Ooh, very nice. I didn't look at the whole lineup yet. From the Borderlands like the border between worlds? I don't know, but I am looking forward to that collection. Sounds awesome. And I also picked up a copy of The Keep by F. Paul Wilson. Little um, mass market paperback from Tor. Heard good things about that. I also got a science fiction book that I've been wanting to pick up forever, and that is Hyperion by Dan Simmons. Heard such good things about this series, and I love Dan Simmons' books, the ones I've read, so I want to check out his science fiction. And then this stack of four are all wild cards editions which is a anthology um, which are all anthologies edited by Martin Luther King. Martin Luther King. Oh my God. I didn't know. I didn't know he was an editor. No, no, no. George R.R. R. Martin. So I have uh, Wild Cards. This is the Legendary series and more. I have Wild Cards Volume 1, edited by George R. R. Martin. The original covers. I was thinking about picking up the newer covers, but I'd much rather have the originals. So cool. So I don't know if these are like the same book, different editions, or if the Legendary series is a different edition of it, uh, different stories, but the names of the authors look similar. <laughs> All the same authors, so it might be just a different cover for the same collection. We'll see. Um, here I have volume four. And volume 10. I love these covers. They're so fun. 
They're like science fiction. Short stories. Okay, and then on another night, I picked up these books. I picked up original cover copy of Dragonflight by Anne McCaffrey, the first book in her dragon series. Or was it like Dragon Riders of Pern? A series I've wanted to check out. I picked up a copy of The Left Hand of Darkness by Ursula K. Le Guin. Heard a lot of good things about this sci-fi. And classic Animal Farm by George Orwell. This is one of those classics that everybody reads in school and this is one I happened to miss in school and I would like to remedy that. Sounds interesting. And let's see, I have uh, another classic, The Invisible Man by H.G. Wells. I really like this cover, it's cool. And or classics edition. Another sci-fi I've heard amazing things about. I have Lucifer's Hammer by Larry Niven and Jerry Purnell. This is one of my sci-fis I've been meaning to pick up and check out. Then I have a couple of newer titles. I have The Black Phone, Stories by Joe Hill. Um, this was originally 20th Century Ghosts. I believe this is the same exact stories, but they renamed it Black Phone after the movie came out. And then We Sold Our Souls by Grady Hendrix. And now my Grady Hendrix collection is complete. Now I just have to read them all. I've only read two so far. <laughs> I have them all. They're waiting for me. Let me know which one I should read next. I've read uh, Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires and Paperbacks from Hell. What should be my next read from Grady Hendrix? Okay, next I'm going to Pango Books. Eww. I picked up a couple of paperbacks from hell off Pango Books. These are ones that I think are hard to find. Amazing um, covers, whatnot. So I picked up The Mance by Lisa W. Contrell. This one would be perfect for Halloweenathon or Halloween season. Maybe if I land on something with pumpkin on the cover, that might be a possibility. And Dark Gods by T.E.D. Klein, which I've heard amazing things about and have wanted to read for a while. And this is the first time I've seen it at a price I was willing to pay. So there we go. I also picked up some horror paperbacks from Coral, from Pretty in Paperbacks Pango Store. I have Cold Cuts by Robert Payne Cabine. In Antarctica, frost isn't the only thing that bites. Ooh, is this a creature feature? Yeah, I don't really know. much about it, but it was calling to me. And it was a Bram Stoker Award winner. <laughs> a new, a new reprint of The Fury by John Ferris. Definitely been wanting to check out John Ferris. And this is a really nice paperback. These look like they 
are hardly read. And Shadow Vista by Charles Coyote and Mark Steenland. It sounds like a slasher book. And so I wanted to check it out despite bad ratings. <laughs> it was just calling to me as well. Shadow Vista takes place in a suburban development. Um, and the last one from Coral's Pango Store is And Then I Woke Up by Malcolm Devlin. Love this cover. So striking. I love pink on horror covers. So fun. And I have really wanted to read this since I heard about it a while back. Little novella. And then the last two books I got from my friend Travis's Pango Store. And these are in amazing condition as well. They look new, pretty much. Uh, uh, science fiction, Nine Fox Gambit by Yoon Holly. And I've heard really great things about this was nominated for Hugo and Nebula Award. So this has been on my um, radar for a while. So excited to see it used there. And then Twelve Kings in Sharkai by Bradley P. Bolu. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> I probably said that wrong. but I've seen this on some of the fantasy channels that I follow and haven't heard anything but good things. And I love me a big fantasy book. And the last deck is my birthday presents. My husband took me to Second and Charles, get anything I wanted in the store. And I always look for the used books, bargains, it's just what I love. And I always find a good chunk of things at my second and Charles close by uh, where we live. This time I found three horror books and two fantasy books. First, The Woman in Black by Susan Hill. I've been wanting to read this and when I saw the used copy, I had to grab it. It's really pretty. It's like a gothic, gothic horror story. Now I have a sci-fi horror book, The Scourge Between Stars by Ness Brown. Don't open the door. Alien story, I think. Um, and then I Feed Her to the Beast and the Beast is Me by Jameson Shea. And this one is a YA. Don't know much about it, but I believe the main character turns into a monster, something like that. I don't know. Soon... I'd be a name no one would forget. A raging fire they couldn't escape. I love that title. I feed her to the beast and the beast is me. I love this cover too. So pretty. And now the fantasy books. I found The King's Blood by Daniel Abraham. Book two in the Dagger and the Coin series. I have book one. It's on my list to get to soon because it's been on my TBR the longest. Um, yeah, I really want to get to it. So I have loved the books I've read from Daniel Abraham so far. So I just assumed that I'm going to like The Dragon's Path, book one. So it was worth picking up the used copy of the second book. And it's in perfect condition. 
I could not refuse. And the last book I got at Second and Charles is Ashes of the Sun by Django Wexler. Another one I've seen on Fantasy Booktube a lot and people love this series so I was super psyched to see this copy and it's actually only four dollars for a big floppy fantasy novel. Oh my gosh that is one I've had my eye open for. I am so psyched for these books that I found such a good deal and it was my birthday month so 26 books is okay. We're gonna go a little bit easier on it in October probably. <laughs> Let me know if you've read any of these books that I've talked about and what you thought of them and I will be back very soon with another book related video. Thanks! Bye!